Hey, y'all, do not walk up on this car. We got enough people up there. First at 11, brand new video shows a wild scene on I-95 in Central Florida. A man steals not one, but two police cruisers, leading authorities on a two-county chase, reaching speeds over 100 miles an hour. It all came to an end when the suspect crashed, and now that person is in custody. Tonight, West 2's Hadass Brown takes us back to the beginning and shows us what took place in the moments before the rubber hit the road. This video from the Volusia County Sheriff's Office helicopter shows the moments Thursday as law enforcement tried to catch up with a man accused of stealing not just one, but two police cruisers. 10-3, 10-3, someone just hit him into the woods. Cocoa police say this started with a call about a disturbance near this motel on 520 near I-95 in Cocoa. A spokesperson says when officers got here to see what was going on, the suspect got in a patrol car and took off. We get called that, hey, they're chasing a stolen police vehicle and it's headed into your county. The Volusia County Sheriff's Office tells West 2 the suspect was going northbound on I-95 near mile marker 252 when an officer forced the car off the road where it crashed in the woods. Then as other officers arrived, the suspect jumped out of the stolen patrol car. He takes a large container of police issued mace with him, ran off, got into another Coco PD vehicle and kept going northbound. He's on a move again in a Coco K9 Explorer going north on 95. And now we continue the chase for another probably eight or ten miles. Are there guns in the front of the car? Ask the canine handler from Coco. He says yes, there probably is. Before Dunlawton were able to stop, step one tire, Fort Orange Police Department a little further up is able to knock out two more tires, and then you see the video where eventually he drives into the median, where a group of us are able to get up there and, and get him out of the car. Investigators say through all of this, no one was hurt. Reporting in Coco, Hadass Brown. WASH 2 NEWS. WOW, WHAT INCREDIBLE VIDEO. NOW LAW ENFORCEMENT, THEY'RE STILL WORKING ON WHAT CHARGES THE SUSPECT WILL FACE.